What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Saray Karen, and for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick look at iOS 14, the new beta 7 updates and features. Okay guys, jumping right into the video. This iOS 14 beta took about a week and two days coming in late compared to the other beta updates that were previously released with Apple. This update also came in at about 500 megabits in size, so it's not too crazy. And the first thing that I wanna show you guys in here is going to be the new wallpaper stills. So before, I'm sorry about my camera glare guys, before the wallpaper stills only gave you one option, but now as you can see me scrolling, you're gonna get two options you're gonna get a light and dark mode option with these. So if I click on here uh, and set my wallpaper, I'll be able to set both my home and my lock screen, obviously, and then once that setting, I'm going to be able to swipe up. I'm going to swipe down on the control center and I'm going to go into my dark mode and then I can change this from dark or light. So you're going to be getting this dark version of the uh, you're going to be getting this dark version of the wallpaper. And then you're also going to have the option to get the light version of the wallpaper. So that's something that I thought was really, really cool. Uh, never before have we had the option to toggle on with light and dark mode. So I really like that feature. Uh, I don't know if you guys use any of these uh, wallpapers that come preloaded into the software, but if you do, now you have that option to toggle on and off the light and dark mode. Something else that I noticed with the new update is that before you didn't have these categories filed together. Now you have productivity and finance. You're also going to have shopping and food and and then if you click on one of these apps before it would take a little bit to open but now if you click on the first app inside of one of these little folders it opens up much faster than it did previously with beta 6 so if I open up the first app in those little folders it's gonna open up really fast and that's something that I like a lot another feature with the beta 7 update is the app tracking feature now this allows you to know when apps are tracking you and the reason that this is delayed is because Facebook is complaining and pressuring apples to push this back because they claim that it's going to be affecting their business and their advertising revenue so i never really trusted facebook but i don't understand why they have an issue with apple being transparent on what apps are tracking their consumer data so um that's a little weird but that is something even though it's toggled on it is delayed and that's because apple is facing a lot of pressure from facebook something else with this beta and something that i really like because i listen to a lot of music as you guys know is that they changed the apple music options again so if you remember from my last video the copy share and show album they for me they were always separated like this but then with the beta 6 update they lumped them together copy share and show album will all lump together but now i'm starting to notice as I do more research and watch more videos that this option is really going to be from device to device so if you have an iPhone 11 these might be lumped together if you have an iPhone 11 it might be lumped together but I have an iPhone 11 Pro and these things aren't lumped together like they were in beta 6 and they were supposed to be so it's looking that as I do more research and as I play with the software that these features are going to vary from phone to phone which I think that's kind of weird but it may be because it's just in beta that I feel like all of the features should be the same across phones. As the last thing that I noticed with this beta 7 as I've been playing with it for the last day and a half, well not even a day, for the last few hours is that remember when I told you guys that they updated the email and that the sender was highlighted in blue but now it's back to the regular highlighted in white so you can't really differentiate who the sender is coming from. I know that I said that that might be something dumb and it's pretty dependent on your preference but now I guess they decided to throw away that feature and go back to how it was regularly set up which isn't something that I mean I liked it but it's not something crazy I do wish that they implemented it in all of the software with the beta 7 that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed this little beta 7 update video I always like to bring you guys these type of software update videos and I think that they're pretty cool let me know in the comments how you guys like them uh, the last two videos about software have honestly been killing it so definitely drop a like on the video leave a comment if you like these types of videos because I really like making them for you guys and let me know if you guys are walking beta 7 and if you guys are going to be using any of these light and dark uh, backgrounds for the screen again I am sorry about you guys being able to see the glare on my camera in this video but yeah I will see you guys in the next video like I always say peace